Every 34 seconds in the U.S., someone has a myocardial infarction, or what most people know as a heart attack, occurring when blood flow that brings oxygen to the heart muscle is severely reduced or cut off. Heart attacks can happen at any time, often with no warning. Myocardial perfusion imaging, or MPI, is one of the most important tools used today to diagnose coronary artery disease, a major factor in cardiovascular death. In fact, myocardial perfusion scans make up approximately 50% of all nuclear medicine scans performed in the United States annually. Myocardial perfusion imaging is in which we look at the perfusion of the heart. So look at the blood flow through the coronary arteries of the heart. And what we do is we do a rest image and look at the resting flow of the heart and then we stress the patient and stress the patient with different modalities, either exercise or with drugs and then we look at the perfusion of the coronary arteries, perfusion of the heart at stress, and then compare the stress image with rest. And that helps us to see if there is decreased flow during stress, and that means there is a narrowing or obstruction in the artery. And if there's decreased flow at rest, that means there's an infarct, that means that there has been a scar uh, and there has been a damage to the heart. New technologies are now being used at medical centers across the nation, including New York Presbyterian Hospital, Columbia University Medical Center, which are delivering a quality field of view that provides greater speed and clarity. There are a number of reasons which contribute to why this new generation of high efficiency cameras is more highly efficient in detecting areas of the heart which aren't receiving enough blood flow. Firstly, they incorporate more detectors which take pictures of the heart and these detectors are designed specifically to identify problems with the heart muscle. These detectors in addition are, use a novel material, something called cadmium zinc telluride. It's a solid state type of detector design and it's more high tech than conventional technology had been. And thirdly, there's new image reconstruction software incorporated into these scanners uh, and that also makes it more efficient. Together these three factors can contribute to the state where these cameras are five to eight times more efficient than the conventional generation of cameras. Compared to conventional scans that can take up to 20 minutes and have to be done twice, this new technology can reduce that time to three to five minutes. In addition, with a reduced injected dose of up to four times versus conventional scanners, it is resulting in an improved patient care experience with less time on the scanner and less radiation exposure, a growing concern in the medical industry. There are a number of ways in which we can use the high efficiency of this machine to improve patients' experiences. We can reduce the amount of radiation because the cameras are more efficient. By giving less radiation, we're able to obtain this, the same quality images in the same period of time. Alternatively, we can give the same amount of, of radiation, reduce the amount of time, and get the same quality pictures. Or, thirdly, we can do some combination of both. We can both reduce the amount of time it takes to get the pictures, we can reduce the amount of radiation and uh, still be able to obtain similar image quality to that which we would have using conventional cameras. For cardiac physicians, breakthrough platforms are allowing them to expand their capabilities in ways never thought possible, taking clinical practices to a whole new level. Technology like this improves the specificity of the test. That means there are less artifacts with this and it's easier for the nucleocardiologist or the person reading the scans to read it better and call less false positive studies. By virtue of using a high efficiency camera, we're able to reduce the amount of time it takes with the patient on the camera. The, the net effect is that we can do a high quality study uh, with three image acquisitions uh, and we, we can keep the time really to a minimum if that's our goal for the particular patient. The net effect and workflow is that we can get patients on the camera and off the, the camera in a short period of time. In, in a given day's work, we can put more patients on the, on the camera uh, and we can make it a, a better workflow for physicians, for patients, uh, for the lab staff, uh, for, for everyone involved.